Hey friends, what's up? How's it going? Ash here with Gin Sense. Hope that you're doing well. It's time to roast once again. That's right. I'm going to be roasting some of the collections that you guys have so kindly sent to me. My email address, ginsenseonline at gmail.com. If you want to be featured in a future roast, send me a picture of your collection to that email address and just put fragrance roast in the subject. I have untold numbers of collections that you guys have already sent me that I'm going to start roasting here today. So let's jump into it for another edition of Fragrance Collection Roasts. Also, uh, codes for you guys, Gents10. Use that code at twistedlily or luckyscent.com to save yourself 10% off those websites. Oh, and the code for Joma Shop, that no longer exists. Thanks, Joma Shop. They actually told me that uh, too many of you had been using the code. Basically, you guys put too much business to them, so now you don't get to have nice things. Think about that. I don't get it. I'm just the messenger here, so you are punished for buying from there. Bad. Mm -mm. All right, first one, Adam. Love to have you roast my collection about two and a half years into the game. Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? It's a game. It's not a game, it's serious. Life or death. Hey, that's pretty slick, actually. You got the whole box action thing going on. A lot of people do that. You know, they make it look more filled in, make it look sexier with all these bottles and then their boxes directly behind them. And you've got these risers that you can put the bottles up on and make it look all tiered and fancy and easier to grab. I could do something like that, risers with my fragrances back here and over there and over there, uh, but I'm too lazy to do that. And also, man, I don't even, I don't even want to think about frankly installing that. So let's take a look at the actual collection. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to hate. When you first look at it, it looks like there's way more than there actually is because those boxes are really filling everything in nicely. It looks like you're looking at hundreds of fragrances here. And then you start to count and you're like, oh no, 60% of this is box. But for pretty much all the brands I'm seeing here, you've got the fragrances that I would expect you to have for the most part, like the heavy hitters. So not too much to hate on. And what's that? A bottle of Jet Black Enigma? <laughs> I'm honored. Seriously though, thanks. And for a second there, I thought you had maybe a bottle of XO Brandy from Novatos Parfums, which I was going to find interesting because XO Brandy was originally a fragrance that was uh, given to me for my brief that I wrote for Galleria Parfum that I passed on. And uh, then it, it got released under Novatus. So if you had that one, I'd be like, cool, two of my fragrances. <laughs> and what is this in the in the corner? Is that like a, this is like a Dracar Noir deodorant spray? Dude, don't be cheap. Dracar Noir costs like four bucks. Just get a bottle of Dracar Noir. I, I bet you found that at TJ Maxx and you're like, I heck with it, I'll pick it up. Just get the real thing. Oh, and also let me know how that Mission Fragrances uh, crash course is working out for you. I don't remember how much that costs. I'm gonna look it up. Dude, I don't even know. I know that it's a lot, <laughs> but I can't find it here on the website. Whatever, just let me know how that worked out for you. Let me know if that's money well spent. Shout out, Antonio, real and real style. Up next, we got Jacob, roast me, it says, and then just says, roast me, Ash. Well, I would roast you if I could make out what anything in these friggin' pictures are, man. This is dark, like you're in the, the labyrinth somewhere, I've been the deep underground in the catacombs, but you've set yourself up a nice vinyl collection down there, so that's cool. Okay, let's really, let's turn on night vision here. Let's uh, see what we can make out. I love in the second picture, how you can see like the top of Kinzo Jungle sticking out from behind the bottle of Gentleman on the uh, the top shelf of that picture there. Like this lonely, sad Kinzo Jungle just back there by itself. Ah, oh, notice me. Very depressing. But interestingly enough, you've got a number of scattered fragrances throughout this collection that are more difficult to find nowadays. Some. Some nice little gems in there. And I'm a sucker for fragrances that are hard to find and stupidly much more expensive than I should ever pay for them because they're not actually that good. But I'm a sucker for that stuff and you are too. I dig it, we're kindred spirits here. I'm seeing a whole bunch of cheap crap thrown in there that's just kind of taking up room, taking up space that maybe you're not wearing anymore, but that's okay because uh, look behind me. And then on top of the little vinyl cabinet, you have all this um, turdy stuff, all these curved flankers and, and fragrances that are like four or five bucks. Take those, okay, this is a this is a pro tip. What you're gonna wanna do is straighten your arm out like this, this movement, hold it, hold it straight, okay? In this hand, get yourself a bag, like a big bag, shake it out and hold it here, okay? So you're holding the bag, holding it, 
pretend this is the cabinet. Here's your arm. Now here's what to do. See that? That movement? You take your arm and all that stuff on that cabinet and you put it into the bag. Then you tie the bag up and then you throw it into a landfill or alternatively into a uh, like Salvation Army uh, deposit box. And then with that new room that you have on top of the little vinyl area there, now you can use that to put the fragrances that you wear most often. So the fragrances that you really like to wear, put those on top there. And then if you, you know you're rushing or something, you just wanna grab something, you got all your hitters right there and you just grab one, spray it on. Also wanna say thank you to everybody that sent in their collections, uh, thank you guys. Up next, Mike. Hey, this is Mike. Hey, Mike. <laughs> I started my collection about two months ago. A good friend got me watching your channel. He is a good friend. He used to make jokes about me wearing Nautica and Curve and call me old, so I had to step my game up. Uh, let me know what you think. What would be a good addition to my collection? Well, actually, uh, what's catching my eye here is the fact that your mail is just kind of on both sides of the picture, the right and the left side. And then there's this this box, this freaking box of Azaro earbuds, wireless earbuds from Azaro. Where the hell did you get those at? I want those. That's awesome. That's cool, man. Well, he busted on you for wearing Curve, but then you're not even wearing the real Curve. You're wearing Curve Black and Curve Chill. That's not actual curve, so yeah. And then your bottle of Nautica Voyage, which apparently you're also wearing, is the smallest bottle of everything in your collection. So he was busting on you for wearing those fragrances, but A, you're not wearing the right curve, and B, your bottle of Nautica Voyage is tiny and pathetic, and it actually makes me depressed looking at it. It's a fragrance bottle for ants small children that won't even fit in my hand. I would have to like hold it like this, like it's a teacup, trash it, get a real bottle. <laughs> Uh, but then going back and looking at the other fragrances here, I mean, pretty much all of them makes sense. You know, you got Eros and then you have also Eros, only this time in a guest bottle. Yes, 1981 Los Eros Angeles. The gentleman I'm down with, the Azaro I'm down with, obviously you are because you even got the wireless. That Loam Cologne Blue, you could probably toss it. I mean, it's like the lowest rated from the house. I don't think it's necessarily as bad as people say, but if you're building out that collection, that's not the best place to start for YSL, or at least the Loam line. But the main thing I'm pulling from your collection is earbuds. Super Dave, hey, I watch most of your videos. Wanted you to roast my collection. Great. A photo on a bed that's also sideways. That's awesome. Thanks, Dave. This is like a cheapy wasteland. Thankfully, most of these cheapies are decent ones or very good ones. And I do see Dracar Noir. So if nothing else, you get points for that. Like a lot of points. Then I'm gonna have to subtract points for these uh, Just Jack fragrances, which every one I've tried sucks. In your bottle of Nautica Voyage up in the corner, Looks like it's just about empty. Yeah, you need a refresh on that dude. With your collection, I think you can take the five fragrances in the upper left-hand corner. So we're talking the Sauvage, the Y, the One Million Lucky, the Invictus Onyx, which, um, I mean, just get regular Invictus. It's the same thing. You could save a little money probably. And the Loam Low, which again, if you're getting the Prada Loam, get the original, get Prada Loam Intense. Get Prada Loam Low third. <laughs> it's very specific, okay? Get it third. If you get it first, you're not doing it right. These are arbitrary rules I just came up with. You must follow them. Anyway, you could take those five in the upper left-hand corner, take the value of those five fragrances and combine it, and that would total the value of your entire collection outside of those five. Because you have so many fragrances here that are like $15 cents. So like one bottle of Sauvage, equals five or six bottles of the other ones. Sometimes quality is better than quantity. But Super Dave, you do you. You are the man for sending that in to me and uh, save up a little bit. Get yourself some nicer fragrances, Super Dave. You deserve it. Next up, uh, I don't know how to say your name, Woder. Sorry if I butchered that. Hey, this is my collection. Guess my favorite fragrance. Thanks, love your content. Well, I'm gonna guess based off your picture, that your favorite fragrance is the knockoff Molecule 01 on the bottom row in between K and uh, a disfigured bottle of Club de Nuit Intense, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the eBay Molecule 01. Is that your fav favorite? It's, oh, it's not? Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, it's the Club de Nuit Intense, man. Four bottles, four bottles, that's good. I'm really glad, man. I'm, I'm 
it's really good that you, you got that. I mean, what would you do if like the fragrance went off the market, you know, like if they suddenly discontinued it, but you're good because you have four bottles. And uh, I like that you can tell which bottle is which without even like, really looking at the bottle much because uh you got one with the the medallion ripped off the front you got one where it's like and the chain is kind of hanging off the side you got one that looks normal you got another one that's ripped uh it looks like it's a little piece of tape remaining there in the middle so yeah it's really good man and i'm glad you got club de nuit siage and club de nuit milestone i want to dunk on you here for a moment you are missing club de nuit intense man limited edition. So how can it be your favorite fragrance if you don't even have the limited edition, which is better than all the other Club de Nuit Intenses. Club de Nuit Intense Man Limited is the best. It's number one. Yeah, you should feel bad. Yeah, what's with you, man? You get these normal ones. Ooh, stupid peasant stuff. Ugh, plebeian. You do get credit, though, for not having Club de Nuit Urban Man. You have the good sense to not have that. You bought four bottles of Club de Nuit Intense Man, which, to be fair, is not insane when you think about Aventus Bros and how some Aventus Bros will have, like, 75 bottles of Aventus. At least you're not that intense into it. Up next, uh, Skylar. I'm new to the game. I've only been collecting for about six months now still figuring out what i like roast away fella so you've you've been into the game for six months and you're trying to figure out what you like i can already tell you what you like you like uh whatever hyped fragrances maison francis kirkshawn has put out that's what you like because you got six of them right there in the front and then you have ariana grande's cloud which everybody knows smells like a Maison Francis Kirkshawn fragrance. So you're somehow just getting into it, and yet you already find yourself being a Maison Francis Kirkshawn fanboy. You got your hype Zerjov, you got your hype Nishane, and then uh, just kind of a random smattering of uh, designers there. I, I, I don't really see any rhyme or reason to it. Luna Rosa, Jimmy Chu Man, a random guilty, and then a random code. And then you snuck in Versace red jeans in the back, and I almost feel like you were at a TJ Maxx or a Ross's or a Marshall's. You saw Versace red jeans. You knew about Versace blue jeans, which you already have there. And you were like, oh, red jeans, what's that? Well, I'll buy it. Not realizing it's a very feminine fragrance. You don't have the heart to throw it away. So you just kind of stick it in the back there. And then extra points for trying to put the Frederick Mall samples right there on the front to the left. Man, I was wanting to do more, but I'm already running long. Dang. All right. <laughs> Elon Tusk. Hmm. I'm on to you. Hey, Ash, been watching you for about six months. Wanted to see what you think. My favorite so far are Lamala Parfum and Light Blue Italian Love. Thank you for the videos. Keep them coming. So these poor little guys are shoved into a, a dungeon, a little cave area somewhere in your abode. And I do enjoy the fact that you're using the boxes to try to fill up some of that dead space. Did it come with a box? If the answer is yes, stick it in there. That's what she said. Looking at the fragrances themselves, I mean, everything there is, is solid. It's all stuff that's really well known that, you know, most people like all of these. I enjoy that the bottle of mustache on the right came in a, a tester box and you were like, well, hell man, I need to fill the space in. So we'll, we'll keep the tester box, but we'll just stick it back there. Maybe nobody will notice that. And then your Lamal de Parfum, sadly in the middle, middle left kind of with with no box just looking like a derp by itself there nice little collection alon but you have way more money you could afford so much better this will be the last one brandon l hey ash just wanted to uh thank you for introducing me to fragrances trying to keep it as a hobby and not fall all the way down the rabbit hole roast the heck out of me well, that's a good idea got two pictures here both look like they were taken on a flip phone at the turn of the century so uh we've got a little a little collection here and on each side of the mantle or whatever this is you got like these little these little risers like a little a little stand like they were in a competition together first second third and fourth i don't want to bust on you it's like you were out somewhere and you saw those little things and you were like holy crap that will take my collection to the next level mm -hmm. i gotta get those i'll get two i'll put them at either end of the collection put some of my favorites up there oh it's gonna set it off, man. People are gonna come in. You're gonna see those bottles right there. And normally 
They would just see them lined up and be like, oh man, what are you doing with all those? But they're gonna see those end pieces. Whew, it's gonna elevate it, babe. People are just gonna be like, ooh, is that cool water? All right, let me do one more. Joshua, I uh, sent you some pictures a few times. Well, hey, here you are now. This is an updated picture of my collection. Been spending some money. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is like the picture of, I just got some stuff in the mail and I tossed some of it onto the dresser here that looks like Wolverine got a hold of it and check it out. Looking at these though, there's a lot of solid fragrances in there that I like a lot. So I can't bust on those bad boys. Oh no, no! I just flipped over to the next picture. It's in the bathroom. Don't put your fragrances in the bathroom, bro. Everybody knows that. Don't do it. It's not good for your stuff. Also, it looks bad. Oh, what do we got here? Cheapies. Cheapies. So, well, Aqua de Joe and Guilty aren't really cheap, but okay, cheapies. Next picture. Oh, no. No, dude, no. What? You are either trolling me or you're insane or you're, you're psychopath. Something wrong with you. Look at this picture, dude. Tell me what's wrong with it. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, okay? In case you can't guess. First off, the coloration is terrible, so. That looks, that looks bad. Everything's washed out, looks like crap. But more importantly, this is in the bathroom next to that stanky sink. And it's surrounded by cheapies. And I'm kind of like, okay, whatever. Okay, okay, they're cheap, right? Okay, okay, I can live with it. Gucci Peron, bro, and Escada Magnetism, all right? What are you doing, man? These are worth so much money. They're discontinued. They smell awesome. You just toss them in there like, who cares? It's like when you see somebody driving a, a classic car and they just, they got no respect for it, man. Just wrecking it, screwing it all up. And then you're like, hey man, you should really do something with that. And they're like, ah, that's not good junk. <laughs> just like, it's like a dude with a whale tail Porsche 911, just ratting it out, clapping it out. Oh, oh dude. Okay. I'm going to assume that you just put those there just for effect. And then you immediately took them and put them like where they should be. So we picked a good one to end on. Uh, we'll just stop right there. That's, that's good. Thank you everybody that sent your collections in for the roast. Once again, I appreciate you guys so much for making this happen. And uh, if you want to be featured on a future one, you know the drill, gentssenseonline at gmail.com. Thank you guys for hanging with me here until the end. Hope you had a good time. I'll see you again another day with another video. And by that, I mean tomorrow. See you guys.